This truck complements the independent line. You have your stage 11 that's tried and true and has a cult following. And then you have the new stage four, which is something entirely new to our generation. What's up guys, my name's Levi, this is Stretch Hop Connect You to Skateboarding, and today we're doing a first look at the independent Stage 4 truck. In the last two years, we've seen a crazy new surge of trucks on the market. We've seen new brands popping up, old brands that have come back from the dead, and old brands that have released new models. And now it's time for an old brand to bring an old model for a comeback. In this video, we're gonna talk about Indy's new Stage 4. And we're gonna talk about why they brought them back and what's unique about this truck. Listen, it's no secret that Indy has been the most ripped off truck brand of all time. There's been a lot of brands recently that have taken heavy inspiration from independent trucks. We even had a truck company reach out to us recently and they said that their new truck is a direct ripoff of the Stage 11 turning geometry. Whoa, 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 before you jump to any conclusions, we don't sell this truck and we don't have it on our website. That's the only clue I'm gonna give you guys. Who's that Pokemon? If you've been paying attention, you might've noticed that there is a bunch of different pros riding some different looking Indies than we've seen before. These are the Indy Stage 4s. So it's safe to say that these trucks have been R&D tested by some of the best skaters on earth. Let's rewind back a bit. Independent was invented in 1978 and they've been at pretty much the top of the truck hierarchy since then. If you wanna learn more about the history of Independent, we did a 14 things you didn't know about Indy. Make sure you check that video out. First, let's talk about the way they look. The Stage 4 trucks originally were launched in 1986. The original Stage 4 ad dropped in a Thrasher magazine from March 1986, and it features Billy Ruff holding a setup with a pair of Stage 4s on it. They have a really retro look to them, and people call these hangers a single wing design. The new Stage 4s look identical to the original Stage 4s, but they use modern engineering and techniques to make these new ones. They're made of lightweight T6 aluminum alloy, and they have grade 8 kingpins, so they have the same durability and warranty as your modern Stage 11 Indy truck. The trucks are 55 millimeters tall and they work best with a 56 millimeter or smaller wheel. If you ride anything bigger, you might want to put some riser pads on there. The most exciting thing about these trucks is the turning geometry. They turn like no other independent on the market. When Indy invented the stage five and above, they redid the turning geometry. So five to 11 will have the same turning geometry. With the stage four, they had their OG turning geometry. This means you have super sharp turning. It's quick and responsive. Also in this truck, they have a different bushing shape. It's the bushing shape from the original stage Four. So they went back and had to manufacture the old design. So these bushings won't fit on anything above stage four. Since these bushings are unique to this truck, they came out with a line of different bushings to buy with three different durometers. The red ones come stock with a 98 that's a soft bushing. The blue ones are 92A, which is your medium. And the yellow ones are 94A, which is your hard bushing. If you look at the base plate, they have the Indy Bar logo embossed on there. So remember when you're checking these out, the stage four bushings and base plates are not compatible with other Indies. So this is a full unique independent truck all on its own. And all of the stage four base plates come with a six hole pattern, which on other Indies, it's only the 59 and 69, the really wide trucks that come with a six hole pattern. Right now, the trucks are dropping only in polished silver and they come in four sizes. They have a 136, which is an eight inch truck, a 146, which is 8.375 board, a 151, which is 8.625, and a 166, which is nine inches wide. These are the original sizes that they came out in the 80s. Here's the story, our Indy rep his name's Ilya. He tried to buy a pair of OG stage fours online, but they have such a cult following that they sold for hundreds of dollars. It's crazy, he keeps getting outbid. But here's a life hack for you. Don't buy the eBay ones, buy these brand new stage four indie ones that are warranted for life. We also have extra tech specs like wheelbase, height, and weight in the blog below. What's up guys, this week we're doing the review on the indie stage fours. We got ourselves a pair a little bit early, so we decided to set them up and skate them a little bit and see how they skate. <laughs> So wild. Uh, 
Uh, first impressions, they're actually really tight. I love the way they look on the board. They have like a super like retro, old school board look and I love that. Um, they skate really nice. We did a couple grinds and uh, they slide really nice. Obviously breaking a new truck sucks, but yeah, they, they skated fine, they ground fine. The real thing that I noticed with these trucks is the turning radius is crazy. They turn like on a dime. Like you can just like, you can just lean on them and just like go in a circle. Um, S turns, cars. These are gonna be a really sick truck to ride in the bowl. Any transition riders are gonna love these trucks. They're, uh, they're super fast, super tight turns. And uh, the stock bushings are pretty soft, but they have three different bushings, so you can tune that to however you like it. Yeah, one thing to note on these trucks is we did look it up and they are actually a complete 100% replica of the original Stage 4s, which is super tight. The only difference between these Stage 4s and the original ones is these ones have the six hole base plate. The original ones only had the four hole. And uh, just like the manufacturing is just using, you know, more modern technology different different metals so it's stronger uh, doesn't bend as much isn't gonna break on you but yeah an exact replica of the original stage four is yeah super fun trucks look super cool on your board and just to give you guys a little bit of reference these are the 151 trucks and we're riding it on an 8.5 inch deck so that's the sizing uh, there should be a size to fit every board so indie stage fours try them out Guys, what trucks are you currently riding and what are your thoughts on the Stage 4s? Comment below. Overall, we really like these trucks. We feel like it's a perfect addition to complement the independent truck line. You have the Stage 11s, which have a huge cult following. And then you have these Stage 4s that are new to our generation that many other truck brands are ripping off. And so whether you love Indy or you hate Indy, this is something completely different and we all need to go out and try these trucks. The shop owner, Sam, said he's never ridden independent trucks in his entire life and he's actually really excited to try these. But here's the thing, these trucks aren't available online anywhere. They only drop in person at your local skate shop. So just like always, go down, support your local skate shop and cop a pair of these. They're going to be so different and so fun. Guys, if you like videos about skateboarding, like, subscribe and comment. And we'll keep giving you more videos. If you're on other platforms, follow us at Shred Shop and at Levi Switzer. Guys, I'm Levi. This is Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding and you just watch a first look at the independent stage four truck. Stay tuned for comment of the week. We got a spicy one for you guys. Comment of the week. It's from my dog, Cheap Dope. He said, my nephew got a dark star for Christmas. Well, we're hyped your nephew started skating, but we're sorry to hear about the dark star. Peace.